What is going on guys? So today's the 31st. I didn't really intentionally plan on picking up the YouTube camera, but here we are. So last night it rained. It's kind of, as you can tell, it's kind of gloomy out here. It's not overly very nice. But I went out to the sea can to take a look at that honey that we're warming up. And I kid you not, I was out there looking and another swarm of bees has rolled in. It's nuts. I didn't really want to have to work today. Just kind of take a day of rest, but it is, it's, that's not happening. We have these guys to deal with. I just peeled the lid off and these guys are making merry in this home. So it doesn't look like a very big swarm, but it's a swarm nonetheless. I would imagine they're probably deeper into these boxes as well. So we're going to set up a bottom board, a brood box and get a lid. We're going to probably do the shakedown method on this, this hive. It's not a lot of bees. Like remember when we caught this swarm here, there was just bees everywhere. These ones are very concentrated. This is kind of your very typical swarm. Uh, hey buddy. Cash is monitoring the yard. So I think it's going to be a pretty easy swarm to deal with. So let's just dive into it. It's overcast, so I may definitely fire up the smoker and put the veil on, but we're going to see. Hopefully these guys are, they let me handle them pretty well. We'll, we'll take a look. All right. Okay. So just like we suspected, we took this top box off here. It's full of bees. And there's bees all down here. Could be down into this bottom third box. We're gonna shake them all into here, so let's have some fun. tell most of the bees are going to want to go back in here we're going to clean this we're going to clean this area out put this hive in here and then they're just going to go right in there Okay, look, good swarm of bees we got here, guys. They're down here in this bottom box. Shook some in here, 
And then we still have all these bees. So it's a pretty big size swarm again. It's, it's, an, it's incredible. Oh man. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta keep keeping on, right? All right, let's do this. This is what we want to see here. Look at all that. This whole frame actually. You can see all that honey in there. We're going to put this frame right in. We're not going to shake this frame out because they've put a lot of their honey reserves into into this frame so we'll just hopefully set that in there like that keep going with it it's probably where we would see the queen if she was in here two of those big frames full of bees Lighting's not the best in here. <laughs> that wasn't a very good shakedown. I shook all the bees onto myself. I think I might just get this one with a double box. This box is almost full of bees. So we're just gonna pick this up and set it right on here. As you can tell, the, the colony is getting pretty excited. We're gonna smoke these bees. Okay, so Okay, so I think this is pretty well close to being done. So this was one of the original boxes here. I just put this lid on it. I've left a space in between here, kind of so the bees can have multiple ways to get into their new home. As you can see, there's still a lot of bees flying around, okay? And they're trying to just reorientate to 
their original landing spot where the swarm had a, like kind of how they first came in, all right? <laughs> so it was two full box of bees. That was a good swarm of bees. We got the smoker going and some of the frames I've just kind of stacked around this, the entrance to the hive. It's going to take them a little bit to kind of get reorientated into this box here. And then we're going to draw this one out, clean this back up another mess. There's bees everywhere again. But yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> so that's four swarms this year that we've got. This, this swarm of bees here, that's our latest one. This was that massive swarm that's insane. It's, it's not overly friendly. Not sure what we're gonna do about that, but it's producing a lot of honey. Like this thing, these bees, almost probably all three of those boxes are full of bees. This was the first swarm that we had the Mark Queen with. And this is our last swarm here, which these ones are growing nicely, these colonies. Bringing in that fresh pollen there. But these last two swarms are actually been a lot of bees, which is super sweet because a nuke of bees here in Canada is about like anywhere from 350 to 400 bucks. That's only four frames of bees. So when they come in by the colony, which is almost a full hive, like two full boxes of bees, that is amazing. It's just such a blessing just to be able to have kind of this resource of honey boxes here that the bees all from around pretty much three kilometers around the whole area, all the bees know of this yard and they all come here and they all naturally congregate here every year. It's amazing. So with that being said, they're all kind of finding their way into this box, which is quite nice. I left, this is kind of like my one lid that <laughs> as you can tell, need some work, but it gives a really nice visual for them to landmark. I've staggered the boxes off a bit so they can kind of come up through here. And also, there's bees in the back. You see all these bees? They're all part of this original swarm. So you kind of, we'll give them some smoke. We'll see if we can get them to take off. And then they kind of take off and they, re, they regroup and find the hive. They kind of naturally see where all the other bees are going. And see, they want to go back there because that's where originally they had been going. But they're going to all find their way into this new hive here. All right, guys. So that's a quick little swarm catch of the day. Like I say, it's the 31st today. We're gonna go down to the river tonight and I think we're gonna go catch some walleye cause I just kinda wanna relax. All right guys, cool, another bee. I think that one's on my face, I'm not sure. <laughs> totally was, super chill. All right, I hope everybody's having a good day. Till the next one, peace.